So what's the formula to find your period? 2 uh, pi over b. In this particular problem, what's my b? This is 6 pi. The b is always the number that's attached to theta. And pi is not a variable, it's a number. You guys know this. So 6 times pi is some number. So that's your b. So you plug that in. And so my period is what? One third. One third. Because my pi's cancel out, and two over six reduces down to be one third. So there's my period. All right. Down here it says which function has an amplitude of three and a period of three pi. Now, just based off of the amplitude being three, which one should have been eliminated? A and B, because that basically has an amplitude as a fraction, and we're not dealing with fractions. Period is 3 pi. That means that... He changed the plot. You have to set your formula to find your period equal to 3 pi. So then you multiply by B. Multiply both sides by B to get 2 pi equals 3 pi over... 3 pi times B. Then you divide by B. The B. And so my pi's cancel out, so my B is two-thirds. So your answer is D. Does everybody see how that, how that works? And that's, and that's how they're going to trick you. They're going to try plugging your period and talking about something. Oh, yeah, it's not B. You got to solve coming. The graphs. It says, which function represents the sine curve shown at the right? Where does sine start? Zero. 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 And Normal sign goes up. But this one went down. But this one, if it starts at zero, zero, it goes down, which means that it's not going to be positive. It's going to be negative. negative. So that meant that B and D were eliminated. Now, my, what's my period for this curve? Um, Try again. Where does it complete one full cycle? If I start at zero, it ends at pi. It ends at pi. So my period is equal to pi, which means that 2 pi over b should equal pi. Multiply both sides by b. I get 2. And I get 2 once I solve. So what's my answer? A. A. Does everybody see how that works? And the last one. What is the amplitude and period of the sine curve shown at the right? Amplitude is always positive. So that should eliminate oh, what two? F and H. And then G can go because three half isn't like that's not it. Like yeah. It it did not complete one full cycle in three three over two pi. It actually completes one full cycle at pi. At pi. So my answer is pi. But can you go back? Yeah, sure. <laughs> so I need questions. What is, so the formula that we need to remember the most probably is 2 pi over b. And that equals your period. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. For the last one, I'll Well, because the fact is that they wanted you to find your amplitude. And amplitude is always positive. No matter if the curve goes up or if the curve goes down, amplitude is always positive. So that's why we knew F and H were eliminated. Uh, questions? Okay. 